Hey, bear. All right, dear okay. friend. All right, dear oh, friend. Is this the beginning of the? Yes. Restart. Restart. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Restart. Restart it. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Let me know. Let me know. Your time starts now. Hello, everybody. My name is Nicholas, and welcome to this presentation. <laughs> it's not a Google slide. I, I promise. So we have a bit of a story to tell you. <laughs> oh, do we? All day. We've been recording the same presentation over and over and over again because my computer wouldn't record any audio. And then I went into some hacker-esque settings and figured out that my computer was broken and I fixed it and now we're going to present as if nothing ever happened. Yes, Nicholas? We only recorded it twice, this is me. He's lying. Three times! Two times. <laughs> there was two. This is the third. So, would you like to go first or shall I? I'll go first, you Chum Lee fan. He's the world's biggest Chum Lee fan. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're talking about Nemesis, Mrs. Main's favorite god. Isn't that right? I remember hearing something of the sort, yes. Yeah, eavesdropping. That's quiet kids when we eavesdrop in on conversations that we're not supposed to be a part of. Anyway, Nemesis is the goddess of divine retribution and revenge. You know what they say about karma? It's coming. Karma's a... Uh... It's a thing. Uh... <laughs> Story. There's a story. Um, Nemesis is often involved in, uh, in tragedies. Not because she is... Well, and she is the one who punishes the hero of the story. And yes. In an earlier recording, Griffin had said, that's interesting how the definition of hero has changed from back then to now. And yeah, because you don't think, like, punished. heroes get punished for what they deserve, but then, like, you think of, like, Greek sort of heroes and it's like oh Icarus punished for flying too close to the sun which we thought of like yeah, we did think of that, if she did. if she is kind of like the karma goddess who's to say she wasn't involved in stuff like Icarus or whatever because like or just anything yeah well not like some of the things like the one story with Hades where um the guy can't turn around to look at his wife or she gets zucked back into the underworld. I feel like that's definitely Hades, but Nemesis yeah. could have been sitting in on that. Definitely. I think she's a uh, a higher up. I'm and very she, uh, angry. A very higher up. A very angry lady. She doesn't like it when you're assassin. Anyway, a story involving Nemesis is Narcissus' story. Narcissus' story. Griffin is eating cheese of some kind, <laughs> and I don't know where he got this. He hasn't even pulled it out until now. He chose until now to pull out the cheese card, and I'm a little jealous. Anyway, Narcissus' story <laughs> is where uh, Nemesis leads this arrogant man, Narcissus, to a pool and makes him fall in love with his reflection so he can never leave, making it so he die inevitably dies. Um, this, of course, is where the word narcissist comes from. I'm sad and I want cheese. <sighs> okay. Uh, symbols of Nemesis include a sword, a lash, a dagger, a measuring rod, <laughs> scales, and a birdie. Yeah, good job, Griffin. Uh, Nemesis' powers include <clears throat> tychokinesis, which is luck, which would make sense with the karma, uh, and umbrakinesis, which is shadows and darkness. I have no idea what she uses umbrakinesis for. I'd love to know, Mrs. Main, if you could tell me. 
That would be great. Here is a picture on screen of Nemesis. <laughs> picture. I'm going to put that in later. <laughs> okay. Hold on, my citations. HTTPS. I'm going to put them in. You don't need to say them. They're on the thing. They're on the document. You can just. Slash other underscore God slash nemesis slash nemesis slash HTML. The next one is https colon backslash backslash roridan.fandom.com slash slash nemesis. Imagine a world where this doesn't record properly again. <laughs> okay. And you just you said all me. of that for nothing. <laughs> Aeolus. <laughs> so Aeolus is the god of the wind. He is the protector of the mighty winds, such as the Zephyr Wind. And cool. he is the king of a floating island known as uh, Aeolia. What a narcissist, am I right, Mrs. Maine? Ha ha! So his symbols are, um... Is, is for some reason, even... No! Even though he's, uh wind uh his symbol is often the horse um and a lot of the drawing the classic drawings that i saw which i won't be showing because i don't have any um make the wind out to be like horse spirits which would make sense because like wind is strong like horses um, and it makes sense because he could probably also make like tornadoes and hurricanes and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> in the movie Twister, yeah. Um, About the board game. He is also known, um, <laughs> though it may only be in a like. It may only be in the Roman versions, which I'm not surprised. I'd probably cry, but um, he's also known as Hippotades. Hippotades. Translating to keeping horses on tight rein and son of Hippotus. So keeping horses on tight rein, it would make sense why his wind is shown to be like horses and steeds and stuff, um, which I think is cool. So as expected, he can control the wind, um, and usually it's seen that his mighty breath creates these wind currents, so he just, and, you know, that's that's how he does his thing. Um, what story is he involved in? Patience, my child. We're only getting there. So, um, <laughs> the, uh, he's in a few stories. Not surprisingly, not too many, but the biggest one that he's in um, is responsible, as per the words of Homer. Yes. <laughs> um, he is in the Odyssey. Uh, Odysseus visits his floating island, and some wacky stuff happens there. That uh, Odysseus has to get off his island and stuff he makes some deals with aeolus with travel and everything so yeah oh my head it locked in um uh, i'm still crying so um in more modern media though he is responsible did you know this and don't say yes because i already said it twice did you know yes. that he is He's coming. <laughs> Did you know that oh, he is no. responsible for um, Wonder Woman's uh, strange ma uh, way of flying via riding the air currents? Yes, she's not like Superman where she can just get up and go. She has the gift of controlling the um, air currents around her as a gift of Aeolus. Um, and that's actually how I knew about this god 
before um, this project. I actually, because you know me and my DC Comics, man, I'm in on that. I'm still crying. I'm sorry. Um, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So that that was pretty cool. So picture of Aeolus. This is the one from DC Comics because I kind of like this design of him the best. Otherwise, he just kind of looks like he kind of looks like John Lovitz just blowing air everywhere and it's awkward so instead you get this man and his thick mutton chops okay so we're at 11 minutes this is the end of the presentation mrs may if you want to continue watching please do uh if you don't you have to because it's just going to be more crying. I can't speak for everyone here. Um, I am cheese. I will not be crying. <laughs> um, oh, no. You will be. Main, it, if you would like to keep watching, you can. Or you could get back to grading everyone else's presentations. Um... So yeah, this is the cutoff point. This is Maine. If you want, stop watching here. If you want to keep watching, please do. That would be cool. Okay. So anyway. What's happening? <laughs> What's happening with me? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm doing a whole lot of nothing. What's happening with you? Misery, misery, misery. <laughs> That's the path I chose. Are you just going to sit there and eat your cheese? Listen, it's been a long and stressful day. Then you need some cheese in your mouth. Don't say it like that. It makes me uncomfortable. Good. Mrs. Main, if you are still watching, I'm, I've done this bit three times, the third time I've done this bit. If you're still watching, I want you to ask me in front of Griffin, what is with AJ's grandma giving me $10? AJ Rowan's grandmother is giving me this $10 right here. Your call ends in 10 minutes. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That's, I'm scared. It's Mrs. like a Main, saw game. <laughs> I don't want this to go. <laughs> if you're still watching, ask me about AJ Rowan's grandmother giving me $10. And I'll tell you the tale. But only if Griffin's there. Please. Because then he'll laugh hysterically and he'll be like, Oh my god, Nick, you did it. You got it to happen. Mrs. Main, this project is great. I didn't... As much as I love your projects and your assignments that you give, which I do a lot. They're a lot better than my other classes. And I'll tell them I told you. Uh, your your reading assignment really scared me. As an antisocial person, I do not like going in front of the class and talking to people. And when mine didn't load fast, it, it really <clears throat> it really made me even more anxious. Why are you editing the document that we're supposed to be turning into Mrs. Main? You know how I feel about you editing the document. I'm not. I see your pointer on this picture. This is main first day of school I asked you what's your favorite kind of music what kind of music you listen to I was hoping you would ask me what kind of music I listen to because I would like to share what kind of music I listen to to the class because it is awful it is god awful it is trash it is rubbish it is the worst thing any human listens to Mrs. Main, you should also ask me, after I tell you this tale about AJ Rowan's ten grandmother giving me $10 you should ask me what band I, I like to listen to and I will tell you Death Grips and I will tell you, encourage you not to listen because I don't want you to see me as this Death Grips fan even though I am a Death Grips fan so don't judge me don't judge him please 
Please don't. So here's why I was panicking. I <laughs> thought um, <clears throat> I broke it again, and it wouldn't stop recording. Oh. That's fine. It'll just become a Dead by Daylight Let's Play. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm thinking of doing that. Not to hand oh. it for a grade, but... That'd be pretty funny. We hand, we hand in an hour-long video. Yeah, I'd do it. I'd do do. What time are we at? 16 minutes. <clears throat> You know what they say about evolution. Only the strongest survive. You can tell me why that's from, Griffin. You get... Uh... A cookie? It sounds like how... It sounds like OBS. Don't swear in a school presentation! <laughs> said it sounds like O I know what those letters stand for I'm not a child Griffin I don't know what it stands for in OBS but I'll tell you something I'm in pain open broadcasting software <laughs> wait what is it open broadcasting software I'm gonna find where Hugh Bailey lives. Creator of OBS. How do you know the creator of OBS? And I'm gonna f find him. And I'm gonna make him pay. Is the cheese hot? Is it hot? Cheese? <laughs> Is it spicy cheese? <laughs> This is Nate. Thank you for listening. Ask me about the ten dollars and ask me about death grips. That'd be hilarious. You're awful, Nick. I am an awful human being. You played my video. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! This is Nate. If you've seen Joker, let us know in the comments below. Tell us your favorite Joker moment. Um, and you made fun of me. <laughs> tell us your favorite Griffin moment of all time. Is it the knowledge hole? That's my favorite Griffin moment. I missed the knowledge.